Let's quickly talk about cargo van versus pickup truck versus step van for a delivery business, which is really best. A lot of folks are asking that question. So in today's conversation, we want to quickly do this uh, compare and contrast between those three vehicle types. Here's a review I want you to pay attention to. I want to first to review the cargo van for a delivery business. The thing is, when you think about cargo van, I want you to think about a van that's great for it. All kinds of configurations. So you have uh, the, the van itself provides plenty of cargo carrying capability. So if you are a cargo van driver and you're thinking about having a cargo van for your delivery business, this is a great van because you have plenty of cargo carrying capability. So regardless of the load you have to actually uh, haul, you have you you can be sure that you have you will have value. OK, you have a, a van that is strong and has uh, efficient engines. This is really cool. And the cool, what we love about uh, cargo van for delivery business is that you have pleasant road manners for a van, and you have impressive optional infotainment system. Especially if you, when you, if you get the, the latest the cargo vans, you will love the fact that you have a wonderful infotainment system. Infotainment system. Now, the only thing you need to really be worry, worry about is that for a cargo van, if you're thinking about a cargo van for your delivery business, you are going to have a bit less towing capability than some rival vans. And it's really important to really understand that because if you are going to have certain jobs, you know, the kind of loads you want to bid on on load boards or when you call a dispatcher or when you call a freight network and you are basically bidding your load, your uh, your van, rather your cargo van, be sure that you always talk about the towing capability. So if, if they have jobs that, re that, that involve towing, make sure that you can really do that. So think about the rear view mirror camera that really has a wonderful display. So if you are if you are a cargo van driver and you care you you care about safety, this is an important element to think about. You know, so you have uh, the you have innovative uh, engine engine stops. What I'm telling you here is not just for for old models but also new models. Okay, and the, the thing here is that overall, when you think about a cargo van, think for the for a delivery business, think about the flexibility. Think about operational effectiveness you are able to load all kinds of you are able to uh, haul all kind of loads you are able to also uh, accept all kinds of jobs regardless of the geography you can go in, in, in a rural area you can go in an urban area you can go in a suburban area you can you can drive through mud whatever this is really fantastic boss Welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. We are make yourself make yourself comfortable in today's conversation. We are doing a compare and contrast between cargo van, pickup truck, and step van for a delivery business. One thing I really need to uh, to specify when it comes to cargo vans for delivery business is that, that you are able to customize things. Basically, you can have uh, your your original cargo van, but depending on the the uh, the kind of loads you want to haul, depending on the kind of uh, shipments you want to be able to lo load on the van, you can actually customize it. This is what we love a lot when it comes to cargo vans because the level of customization is really really fantastic. For example, you can have uh, you can upgrade your axle ratios, right? If you if you think that you know, depending on the jobs you are going to accept. You really need to have those capabilities. You can have a 60-40 split hinge the passenger side door, low roof. You can have a rear view, rear view mirror camera display. We've, we've seen clients in certain areas of the country that basically have that. You can actually uh, upgrade the infotainment uh, touch screen or capability within the, the van itself. I mean, for some cargo van drivers that actually are doing OTR, if you are doing OTR, you want to have a uh, a great infotainment system because the infotainment is the only the only thing that is uh, there with you when you're driving those long those long miles and you know you are by yourself okay so if, if you do an otr especially cross state otr you you want to have a great infotainment system and uh, that's going to help you i mean we see we see a lot of clients that actually do uh, otr between jersey uh, jersey and new york or or new uh new york and connecticut and uh, so the trusted area around New York, I mean, New York, Connecticut, and Jersey, basically folks have this infotainment. You have cruise controls, you have a running boards, you have a remote start. The remote start is really cool, especially if you are going to uh, haul a lot of loads and you are in, um, I would say, inclement weather. Let's say, uh, let's say uh, it's snow or it's raining and you are thinking about, you know, delivering uh, like the loads for the, for the clients, no matter what, no matter what. 
having technology help you is a, is a, is a, is a big deal. And the cool thing is that if you have a cargo van, if you're driving a cargo van for delivery business, you having that flexibility is really cool. And the cool thing also is that you also can get the, the cargo van with additional driver aids, such as blind spot warning with rear cross traffic warning and trailer coverage. So basically this alerts you if a vehicle is in your blind spot during a lane change or while in reverse. You have parking sensors that alert you, that actually alert you to obstacles that may not be visible in front or, or behind the vehicle when parking. You have adaptive cruise control that maintains the driver's set distance between the transit and the car in front. So this is really cool. Boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about cargo van versus pickup truck versus step van for delivery business. I want to talk to you now about pickup truck. So when we talk about pickup truck, we're talking about another uh, a, a wonderful animal <laughs> when it comes to delivery business. And you need to understand that pickup trucks are actually uh, no longer uh, single purpose work vehicles. Instead, they now often are used as day-to-day -day family haulers, serving varied roles from basic transportation to towing vehicles for weekend recreation. And if you are a, um, if you're considering a pickup truck for delivery business, you have a lot of opportunities for you. Okay, a lot, of, a lot of work for you in terms of revenue generation. You can generate revenue like crazy. And the cool thing here is that you know, if you especially, if, especially if you get the latest uh, models, it's just fantastic because. Ongoing advancements have helped the uh, pickup trucks become more command centers for commercial users and aspirational vehicles for buyers who crave an exclusive luxury vehicle in some cases. And uh, modern rigs are still big, bold, and highly capable. They are also being equipped with more safety, convenience, and comfort features than ever before. So if you are if you are a delivery business, let's say uh, an owner operator, and you want to consider a pickup truck for your delivery business, this is really great. So when we talk about uh, pickup trucks, you're talking about many freshened and redesigned models are bringing the latest modern features to our pickup trucks. You have a, a variety of powertrains that are available, including regular gas, diesel, hybrid, and electric. So if you care about the whole electric thing, you will love to, to actually uh, have a pickup truck. This is totally great. You have more compact models are being offered also, showing improved fuel economy and larger full frame models have the highest tow and hauling capability so if you want to actually uh you know if you want to haul heavy like heavier loads then you want to think about larger full frame models so this is totally especially if you are working with construction in the construction industry this is kind of cool because it, it gives you the capability to actually deliver the type of uh loads that you can you, you want to deliver this is really fantastic so when we talk about uh when we talk about pickup truck for delivery business, I just want to say that there are seemingly there are seemingly endless combinations of trim choices, bed sizes, engine options, and exterior and interior color palettes. So keep in mind that when you start actually configuring a new pickup truck, it's very easy to buy way more machine than you will use. So planning a truck purchase can be tricky. So it's best to be honest about how you are going to use it, especially in your delivery business okay for example if you have no plans to carry large loads or pull a very heavy trailer there, there probably is no need for a heavy duty pickup truck a lighter duty full-size truck or even a compact or mid-size pickup could fit the bill so really think about that beforehand Let me actually talk to you about the factors that pickup truck buyers should consider, especially if you are thinking about the uh, delivery business. So first of all, I just want to say that when we talk about pickup trucks, we're talking about heavy duty trucks. We're talking about full size pickup trucks. We're talking about compact pickup trucks. We're talking about like there are several pickup trucks. So you really have to have a clear idea of what you want before you actually start thinking about, uh, you know, what are the uh, the elements that should come into play when it comes to uh, you selecting your pickup truck? So first of all, think about the cab size and seat. Think about the bed. Bed is very important. You want to think about the engines and the and uh, things like fuel economy. Think about the towing ca uh, towing capability, and think about the ride and handling because you're going to spend a lot of a lot of time on the road. 
Think about safety and active driver assistance systems technologies, so ADS technologies. So those are really important elements. So when we talk about, for example, when we talk about towing, remember that pickup trucks are well suited to hauling boats, cars, utility trailers, and campers behind them. And so basically uh, what will happen here is that if you get a pickup truck for delivery business, what will happen is that the, the owner's manual will, uh, will note the maximum weight that can be uh, carried, payload, or towed. And so if you are a buyer, think about that. You can also talk to the manufacturer or dealer really when they install the equipment. So this is really important to really pay attention to that. And if you are considering a pickup truck for delivery business, also think about new versus used. If you have a, if you have a new uh, pickup truck, you have the latest technology, not a problem. If you have a used one, there are some, some things that you need to really uh, make sure that you have, especially when you actually, if you buy from a dealership, or you buy from a private from a private uh, person or private party, or, you know, you you buy this in a private transaction. There are things you need to check to make sure that the pickup truck is, has all the uh, the latest equipment that you need in your delivery business. And this is where we actually recommend that our clients buy a pickup truck for delivery business from a dealership. You know, from a licensed a licensed dealership, and that you don't you, you do not have to uh, worry about things like. Uh, quality or safety whatever especially if you are going to involve insurance in the whole in the whole uh, in the whole conversation you want to make sure that you have the right the right the right type of uh, van or I mean van truck from the get-go really really important Now, let me talk to you about step van. So again, we are doing a compare and contrast between cargo van, pickup truck, and step van for a delivery business. So when we talk about step van, it's really important to understand that um, step vans are, are a little, uh, are different animals, okay? And the, the, you can do a lot of stuff with uh, with step vans when it comes to delivery business. And uh, so step vans are really versatile when it comes to uh, delivery business. First of all, they are known for the steps that lead to the driver's seat. And they are actually an all-in-one designs that makes stepping in and out of the, of the vehicle a breeze. A rear door makes loading and unloading of items easy. So if you are considering a step van for delivery business, you have the perfect uh, van for you. You have you have a van that is spacious, that has uh, an appealing look, the design that allows easy access of customers from the window, and uh, you have the ability to turn it into a mobile business setup. So this is kind of cool, especially if you are in a, in a rural area or you, you are in uh, some urban area, so, and, or you, if you are doing uh, last mile delivery or middle mile delivery, a step van is really cool. It has it gives you all that the, the capability here. Let's talk about the, the pros and cons of step vans for for delivery business. I want to talk first about the new step vans. New step vans. The pros, it's brand new, no history of vehicle maintenance, so it's less likely to have pre-existing issues. You have full factory warranty, nationwide delivery from uh, most step van sellers, low finance rates, more financing options, fantastic. What about the cons here? Higher price tag, delivery lead time could be due to manufacturing or shipping issues, and warranty and maintenance facilities may be miles away from where you purchased it. What about used step vans for delivery business? Let's talk about the pros and cons. So we have a clearer, like we have a better comparison sort of a metric here. Pros, it is cheaper than brand new. So this is good for your delivery business. You can save cash. It's You have faster financing approval, third-party warranty options, more options for maintenance hops, faster turnaround time, and no need to start from scratch with its very basic features and accessories. It's really cool. What about the cons here? Well, no factory warranty coverage. So if you are if you are buying a, a used step van for your delivery business, just be aware of that. And you have short term financing. It's not really uh, like you, you get like a financing for like a few a few uh, a few months. And uh, you also have a history of vehicle maintenance that you you will you really need to pay attention to because the last thing you want is to actually be surprised. Like you're driving your step van and you try, you actually think are thinking about delivering uh, a load to a, a client and the step van has a problem. Okay, so those things happen. You got to be aware of, of them before you actually think about your step van for delivery business. By the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about uh, 
cargo van versus pickup truck versus step van for delivery business. The thing is that when you are thinking about uh, buying a, a step van for your delivery business, there are a few things you need to pay attention to. And step van actually uh, is uh, offers a lot more flexibility than uh, cargo van or pickup truck. But the most important thing is you need to pay attention to the budget, your budget. What is your budget? First of all, because see, the thing is that even if you're going to finance, you're going to finance the step van purchase, you still need to think about things like insurance, think about uh, the monthly payment, so, so whether you lease or whether you actually buy upfront, you are going to make payments every month unless you have the cash to uh, to spend 30 grand or 40 grand or 50 grand buying a brand new or a used step van. In other words, you're not financing anything. You're not leasing the, the van. You are buying it out, outright. But so in either way, your budget plays an important role. And, and we're talking about revenue generation. Because if you are thinking about delivery business, you want to make sure you have the loads available to uh, get the revenue that you want to generate, right? You want to basically have a consistent consistent rhythm when it comes to revenue generation. Think about your budget. So think about the financing options. When we talk about financing in general, and things are actually revolve around your credit. So if you have good credit, bad credit, some something in between, you are going to be faced with a, a series of... Uh, credit decisions and when we talk about credit decisions we're talking about this could be a, a a step van loan business loan it can be a business line of credit it can be anything else it could also be in what we have seen it can be equipment financing so if you were to talk to a, a lender such as a Balboa Capital you know they do all kinds of uh, all kinds of loans for step van owners then basically they pay attention to uh, the the type of credit that you have you got also Think about gas or diesel, right? If you are going to get a step van for your delivery business, what kind of a fuel do you want to use in, in the van? And what about delivery in terms of uh, like how fast do you want the the, uh, the the van to be delivered to you? And uh, how, so what's actually uh, the queue that you have to, like how long do you have to wait? And also sometimes you have to think about FedEx ISP certified. The thing is that as a business owner, you should, you should really invest in a used step van that meets ISP standards and you want to avoid dealerships that do not comply with, with strict dot mechanical inspection rules. So this is kind of cool. It's important to really make sure that you have uh, this uh, ISP uh, mechanical inspection uh, criteria because if you're going to use this for delivery, delivery business, you want to actually, uh, the, the insurance company, the insurance will ask you for that uh, certification. If you don't have it, you will be paying a lot more in premiums. That's why you have to do things from the get-go. So let me give you the overview here. So the big question is cargo van versus pickup truck versus step van for delivery business. Which one should you go for? That's a good question. Now, the, the best answer to answer that question is, first of all, you got to ask yourself that there are three things you got to ask yourself. What kind of loads you want to haul? What is your geography? And what kind of clients are you going to serve? So when we talk about your, the loads you are going to haul, basically, let me give you an example. If you are going to tow heavier packages, then if you have a pickup truck, you want to think about your towing capacity. So if you are going to uh, tow have your packages you can't do it with a cargo van you could you could but uh, the best is the pickup truck same thing for a, car, a step van step van is not really uh, suitable for towing capacity so depending on the on the the, the type of uh, load you want to haul second thing is the geography you're in there are certain cars there are certain vans there are certain trucks there are certain vehicles that are appropriate for for let's say for certain geographies if you are in the mountainous area there are certain vehicles that, that are great for for example, you will go with a, a, a pickup truck. A cargo van may not be good if you're in the mountainous, in the hilly area. Or, I mean, it really depends on you. Now, if you're in a rural area, okay? So, bottom line is you have to think about the geography. And the third thing is you need to think about the clients you are going to serve. So, what clients do you want to serve in your delivery business? This is going to dictate what, what kind of a vehicle you are going to get in the first place. So, think about that. So, you want to think about that and 
the thing is when we talk about the kind of clients you are going to serve you are you want to keep a few things in mind think about the size and capacity think about the delivery distance think about the, the delivery timeline think about uh, the cost and think about the environmental impact i was talking to you earlier about uh, the kind of uh, fuel you want to you know, whether it is you know whether it was diesel or gas, whatever. So you have to really pay, pay attention to those elements. The bottom line, at the end of the day, if you want to actually uh, be uh, very successful in this industry, it really depends on how you position yourself from the get-go. So whether you have to choose a cargo van, pickup truck, or step van, really depends on you. You know, we can be, you know, our team, based on the experience we have had for the last 20 years, we can say, well, you know, a cargo van is right for you or a pickup truck is right for you, but it really depends on your situation. If you have any question about this and you are sort of unsure about which uh, vehicle to, to choose, let us know in the question, in the questions and we'll certainly get back to you. So this is like, you know, comment below, tell us, you got to tell us where you are at, tell us where you are at because geography plays an important role. Tell us the kind of clients you, you have, and the kind of loads you want to haul. And based on your situation, we'll tell you basically which uh, vehicle is right for you. Okay, our team will, will get back to you. And if you do not want to uh, divulge your private or business info on a public uh, or the public space, just uh, let us know via email. We'll answer you and uh, not a problem. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I just quickly I did a, a cargo van, pickup truck, and step van, compare and contrast, and which one is best for your delivery business. And uh, so I first talked about the uh, cargo van, then the pickup truck, and then the step van. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.